Blessings, my friends of life, and indeed salutations of peace. And so here you are, my dear friends, experiencing a life. Take that in for just a moment. Within this moment, you are alive. It is so obvious and therefore it can be so subtle within your consciousness that you are alive. If you can really grasp this for just a moment and fully become present to this realization that indeed you're having a lifetime, feel this for just a moment. And now you're fully present within your body and within this moment. So here you are alive. And as you can begin to appreciate this idea that you are alive, you can now begin to go a bit deeper. I'm alive with a purpose. And your purpose is fully based on an internal experience. It's to realize. It's to realize the energetic truths of the universe and the beauty of life is you begin to own your truths because you're having experiences. And through each experience that you have throughout this day and every day, you have the opportunity to realize more and more. And what exactly are you realizing what serves me, but truly serves me. And then you can begin to recognize what am I serving? Because what I choose to serve is ultimately what is going to serve me. And so I learn. I learn and I recognize what are the choices of energy that I'm making in every given moment. And this could be extraordinarily difficult what life is trying to show you is to choose energies every moment that support harmony, that support balance, that support expansion, that align you to the light. This requires tremendous state of presence. But with this presence, there needs to be a quality, a quality of warmth. And that warmth comes from your heart center. So your choices need to come from this warmth of your heart. In the beginning, it's going to take great discipline. And as you choose this more consistently, it becomes more and more natural. Now there are many, let us say, vibrations within you. We can say many characters on the stage of your life. And many of these characters are not aligned to warmth. They're not aligned to your heart. So they're going to try to navigate you to choices that are not serving you, you see. And so here you'll begin to serve energies that do not serve you. And the challenge is to free yourself from those patterns. Because those patterns can become so luring so attractive because they're both familiar as well as addictive. And as you choose the higher road, if you will, the energies that allow you to be expansive, you have a positive feeling that goes through you. And this positive feeling is there to inspire you to keep choosing that which is expansive, light and bright, ultimately that which is vibrating in love. And so we can ultimately say the full purpose of life is to choose love, but it's too deep to bring it into one sentence. Truly it is. I didn't say it's too complicated, it's extraordinarily simple, but it's not easy because you're going to be tested. Because you have many concepts within you and vibrations, and let us say wounds, that are going to bring you 
steer you into energies that are contrary to what I've just spoken of. You're going to lean into energies of competition, comparison, judgment. You're going to believe in energies that you're not good enough until the world validates you. You're going to believe in limitation, in the idea of separation. You'll get lost in greed, fears of security and safety, fears of loss, and on and on. And these are all stories in your consciousness. Many of these stories you've inherited from your ancestors and other of these stories you've carried on from other lifetimes or been conditioned within this culture that you're currently in. But you see, it's not truly important where these stories come from. Because if you choose to peel the onion, it really never ends until there's nothing left but many tears. So if you can allow yourself to begin to appreciate, I'm going to be aware today because today I choose to support my awakening process. I want to wake up from my dream of unconsciousness. I want to wake up today. I want to realize, are my choices based upon my highest purpose of being alive or are they based upon some conditioned state or addictive state of my ego? And it is indeed moment by moment by moment. And as you can begin appreciating this, you can look at all of your challenges are truly absolute blessings. It's what you need. Because within these challenges, you have the opportunity to realize the consciousness inside of you and how you can choose otherwise and free yourself from these limited prisons that are separating you from the light and the vibration of love. So if things are not working, quote unquote, out in your life right now, stop resisting this. Whatever it is, stop resisting. And now ask. Ask life, ask your guides, ask the infinite, whatever words you want to attach upon this. What are you trying to teach me through this challenge? What's my lesson within this challenge? What's my opportunity that I can realize through this challenge? The answer may come immediate or may come within a dream or may come tomorrow or the next day. But you must be sincere when you ask, because if you ask just full of resentment and resistance, you won't be open to hear, to hear the gift, you see. So first you must recognize life is challenging because life is trying to wake you up. And this part of your life that does not want to wake up, this part of your life that wants to hold on to its principles, to its protocols, to its pain, to its addictions, to its pride, to its philosophies, to all sorts of limiting stories. And life is asking you, in a sense, to ungrip this finger by finger. Let go of the tight grip. Let go. Imagine you see this right now, your hands holding strong upon a rope, upon a grip of a bar, and you let go. And what's most fascinating is when you let go, you don't fall, you float. Because your grip has been holding you down. And as you let go, you become lighter and brighter. You begin to let go of all of that which you've been making so important, all the symbols outside of you. That's the trapping of this world, don't you see? Look at all the symbols that you make important, your objects. Your great states of priorities that are externally based or just the symbols that surround you. And some of these symbols you say are extraordinarily important. But are they really that important? Anything that you make so important that drops your vibrational frequency, that places you into an uncomfortable feeling, is limiting your reality. Now, I'm not saying to not respect everything around you, the symbols, whatever they may be, your aspirations, of course, respect them but you mustn't make them more important than the quality of your state of presence. So it can be said that that which separates you from the light, that which separates you from the warmth of being with the one spirit, that
that which separates you from the warmth of your heart. That is what creates imbalance within you. So we recognize that life is challenging because you have to manage your energies. And you manage your energies by recognizing what am I feeling moment by moment? Because my feeling is my barometer. Am I balanced or am I imbalanced with what I'm doing, with what I'm focusing upon, with what I'm choosing? And then from this place, can I accept the seeming reality, which is ultimately illusion, that I'm experiencing a limitation? But you're not really limited. It's the resistance that makes you limited, don't you see? So let's say you have an experience which is, let us say, Monday, and you're in a traffic jam. And you're resisting that you're in a traffic jam. But don't you see how gentle the lesson is? If you can accept and look at what's my lesson right now in this traffic jam? Am I anxious because I'm going to miss the meeting? Can I surrender and accept that? And so now you're learning surrender and acceptance. And an experience that's not so threatening to you traffic jam? Or can I learn patience, tolerance, whatever the lesson may be? But don't you see, in that very moment, you have the opportunity to cultivate a tremendous degree of learning. But if you're just fixated on the external, your desires, your attachments, I have to make that meeting, I'm scared if I don't make that meeting, and the list goes on and on in your mind, you've completely lost the gold within the moment. Now you're angry, frustrated, full of fear, whatever it may be. So whatever challenges in your life, it's a golden opportunity. And what's most fascinating is when you truly are harmonized within the traffic jam and recognize what is it that I have to learn. You don't need the traffic jam anymore. And watch through magic the traffic begins to move. But you're not doing it to make the traffic move because if you are trying to learn the lesson to make the traffic move, that's not learning a lesson. That's control. And this is why so often I do not speak about manifestation. Now, I'm not saying you're not here to realize that you're a creator. You are a creator. But let's say you have the ability to create tremendous abundance, prosperity, whatever it is. And you continue to create prosperity, but you have no warmth. You have no compassion. You have no respect. You're just a good magician. What have you learned? And then you go back home after your life and you recognize lost the whole purpose of life. I was simply creating this, 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 making myself very comfortable and shining my ego. But I did not realize the purpose of life, which is peace, harmony, and love. That's the purpose of life. Peace, harmony, and love. Now some misconstrued this, and they don't allow themselves to enjoy the abundance of the physical world. Of course you should. But you have to do it in balance. You also have to recognize when you have great abundance, you need to share it. Because just hoarding and greeting, that's not loving. And that's also not in balance because prosperity is energy and needs to flow. But you need to help the flow in balance, not just give it all away, of course, as well. And in this way, you need to equally recognize appreciation for that's respect. And so there's such depths of lessons in life. But ultimately, if you want to package it, because I know you humans love packages. <laughs> it's all about positivity. Lean into the positive. Look at the positive in every moment. 
no matter how grim your challenge may be, there's a package of a gift inside of that. And if you only had gifts without any challenges, you wouldn't learn anything. You wouldn't even appreciate your gifts. It's like having dessert over and over again. It just makes you sick of too much sweet. And then you can't even appreciate how beautiful the dessert is because you have no contrast. That's why this world has contrast. Without the dark, how would you know to choose the light? So can you appreciate the dark that's around? Can you appreciate those who are not in balance to show you how important it is to be in balance? And can you stop criticizing and judging and fighting and focusing upon drama? This is no benefit to your life or anybody else's life. Now at times you need to vent and speak about your problems because speaking about it moves the energy and the other person learns to listen in compassion. And that's a win-win, you see. So everything that's happening in life and everything that everybody is doing is just what their soul needs to learn. So you can let go of your judgments right now because no matter how screwy another person looks, they're doing exactly what their soul needs. And whoever is interacting with that person, they need to interact with that person because they need that lesson for some reason. And that, you see, is the beautiful aspect of life. It's all what needs to be. So when you look at perfect, you see the schoolroom of life is not always so organized. It's messy. It's supposed to be messy because people are here to learn. It's not supposed to be shiny in that way. And there are moments of beautiful shine. But it takes a lot to learn to be human. Can you congratulate yourself? Because you chose to be human. You chose it because you want to learn. So don't get lost in just making the external important, but take care of the external. That's the balance. But don't let your grasping of the external pull you away from spirit. That's the balance. As it is said, be in this world, but not of it. Enjoy this world. Enjoy your bodies. Enjoy the comforts, if you will. Enjoy everything that life has to give to you but feed your spirit at the same time. And you can only feed your spirit when you're coming from your heart, when you're coming from your inner warmth. And so to do this, we practice presence. Moment by moment, be present. Look at your thoughts. Choose which ones are going to navigate you and witness which ones or imbalanced patterns that keep tripping you up. And that's what the wheel of life is, is when one just keeps getting caught, like making a left turn consistently in a car. You just keep going round and round, thus karma. <laughs> so you can change that, change the steering wheel, go in a new direction today, and then keep directing yourself. Be responsible with your energies, with your focus, and be gentle with yourself. It's difficult. You're going to have pain. It's just part of being human because you have to learn to feel. But when the pain comes up, try to see the sweetness in the pain. Don't just look at the bitterness. Look what it's teaching you. It's opening up your heart, don't you see? It's cleansing you. Everything is there to feed your soul. Everything in your life is there to feed your soul. And that's why you're alive. It's to feed your soul, to feed your consciousness, to awaken and to realize. So give yourself a gift today and every day. Every day, choose to wake up more and more. And stop giving power to symbols. The power is in your consciousness. Let your mind be aligned. 
Let your presence be sweet. Let your heart be open. Have compassion with yourself and share that compassion to all. And most importantly, live in respect. Live in respect. Respect your feelings and the feelings of all, of everything that exists. And as you live in this state of respect, your life will be sweet, your heart will be open, and your soul will smile. And that smile will emanate from you. And without you trying, you'll be serving the light just with your mere existence of being. May you choose to awaken. It's the greatest gift you can give to yourself. And there's nothing external that can give that to you. That's your responsibility. But make it playful. Don't make any of this serious. Because life is a game. It's really a game. You've had so many lifetimes, so many costumes. It's just a game, but it's a very important game because it's the game of eternity for you to realize and awaken that you and the light are but one. May you honor your feelings. May you live by your feelings. And may that awaken you to the realization that God is within you. Blessings and peace.